Hi guys, hi dear. So yeah, I know I've been quiet this weekend, past weekend. <sighs> Let's just say it's kind of a drop. Um, I got homework to do um, from the OT, I think, and the speech therapist. And it's starting to get the better of me. And um, the thing that is getting the better of me is that I am only now um, realizing how much I've actually lost. with the accident and um it's tough when you are basically on tuesday to turning 26 and uh, you basically have to learn how to properly read and write and spell and I get the fact that that's why I'm seeing the OT and the physio and the speech therapist um, to try and get me better reading and writing and understanding and remembering to improve that but cheese I've never thought it would be this difficult I mean what can be this or that difficult about reading and writing and obviously understanding and recalling Oh man, it sucks. And this is not a a sympathy video um, or anything like that. Yeah, there is, well, there's been tears the whole flipping time. Because, you know, for a 26 year old, you feel kind of stupid when you can't do basic stuff. And it gets to you. And people don't get that. Because they really see um, this side of me. The feeling stupid side, not understanding why my bloody brain isn't getting what I'm doing. It's like my brain's over here and what I should be doing is there where the flipping accident happened basically. There is miscommunications. I wish I could like put my brain on to someone else and just let them feel what it feels like. It's these huge misfiring rockets that's going off in my head and it's eating everything except the stuff that they should eat. And it's emotionally draining To see and realize how much I've lost. It's tough. It's not fun. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure this is a test. That I'm going through. That God is putting me through. Yo. Yeah. 
let's just say it's about the charcoal of the taste. There's much more red lights than green lights at this color moment. It's like driving somewhere and there's more stop and goes than anything else. And there's more stops than goes. It's challenging to try and understand my brain if I didn't understand it myself. And please, I don't want you guys to feel sorry for me. That's not the idea of this video. It's just to show the other side of me where I feel as dumb as a rock where, well, you can still throw a rock. At the end of the day, it's just things like this that m makes me see or realize for like the first time in years how much I actually lost the day of the accident. There's so many emotions, anger, frustration, doubt. Lurking, and I can't see, even see, say in the dark because it's flipping <laughs> all over. So that's why I've been quiet. I'm trying to figure this out and trying not to lose my my marbles every time I, str uh, I struggle with something, but <sighs> at this stage, it's not going as well as I was planning so I hope you guys get this I'm usually very upbeat as you guys know but I thought you guys might as well see the other side as well the struggles and the feelings and emotions that goes through my mind when I do stuff like this and yeah I know it's because it's new stuff and the brain is trying to figure it out and I'm trying to figure it out the people around me is trying to figure it out it's tough so I want you guys to please just pray for me I'm a bit lost at the moment So this is what I wanted to share with you guys, the other side of <laughs> Heidi 2.0. I hope you guys have an awesome day further, well, night further. And um, remember, hashtag donkeys is fireless. And stay safe, guys. Love, Heidi.